Om Shanti. Good morning. Today is 20th July 2023. Baba Sakkar versions. Essence of today's Murli. Baba says, sweet children, keep a picture of Shiv Baba in a little room. Go there again and again and sit in front of it and talk to Baba. And your remembrance will then remain throughout the whole day. So today Baba has given one's uh, trick. Uh, Baba's word, we can say, some one new invention. How to remember Baba continuously. Then question of today's Morley. What new and unique type of love can only be experienced at the conference age? <clears throat> so what is the new type of love, unique love? Baba says that can be experienced now only. And the answer is to love the father who has no image is a new type of love. You understand that incorporeal Baba, the one without an image, has come into this corporeal one. You are sitting in front of him. At the confluence age, you receive love directly from God. This love is new and unique. You have loved bodily beings throughout the whole cycle. Now love the bodiless father. Such love can only exist at the confluence age. Why Baba's love is unique? Baba says up till now we have remembered bodily beings. But Baba is without body. And now we are experiencing his love in, uh, practically. His love is true love. His love is pure love because he is ocean of love. And how we are directly in this confluence age, we are experiencing. That is why Baba says his love is unique love. Now song of the day was, who has come to the door of my heart in the early morning? Om Shanti. Baba says, you children understand that the unlimited father is without an image. We have now come to Baba and are sitting with him with his new type of love. This is known as new love. Children only receive God's love once. You children can understand that we all definitely remember the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. He sits and teaches us children. That incorporeal Baba, the one without an image, has entered this body, huh? Brahma's body. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is the father of us souls. So he is father of all the souls. We have now come to know and recognize him. And this love is unique. In fact, love normally only exists between bodily beings but that one is bodiless. God is bodiless without a body. You are sitting in front of him. He comes and teaches you with great love. So this is a new aspect. Previously all the desires you had there to receive wealth or a palace, all of those desires have now changed. Your desires when compared to those of the whole world have changed. So, so in division, it that was, Baba says, that were the physical desires. But now our desires have changed. We are now making efforts to become the masters of the world through Baba. This is our new desire. <coughs> Baba says, you are now sitting personally in front of him. You understand that he is Shiva, the father of all souls, the purifier. It is that one whom you have to remember. You are now sitting personally in front of him. You have the enthusiasm in your heart that you are to claim your unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father. Baba is so unique. He is without an image and so wonderful. Why Baba is so unique? Because he is beyond everything. Uh, he is the ocean of everything and he, he knows that he is full of knowledge about this world drama and he makes us, uh, he gives us the vision 
uh, how to make the how to travel all three worlds and all aspects of time. So he's so wonderful. Baba says no one else knows this. Only you know how the father comes and makes you belong to him and teaches you. So what method can you create so that you continue to remember the father again and again? The father advises you. Each of you should keep a picture of Sri Baba in your home. On seeing Sri Baba's picture, you will understand that the unlimited father, the purifier, has come to establish the pure world. We are claiming our inheritance of self-sovereignty of heaven from him as we did 5,000 years ago. Baba says, you souls understand that you will go to heaven and rule your kingdom through your bodies. So why why to have picture, Baba says, because picture is, is, is the language of subconscious mind. So when we see, we'll see the picture, we will remember Baba's all qualities, Baba's all deeds, and we can remember Baba easily. That is why Baba says you can have a picture, otherwise it is not required. I was says, this is something we never even dream of. That one has now come. Huh? In a dream also, we have not thought that God will come one day he will, and he will be our teacher and he will give such a very uh, true teachings. So that has come true now. Therefore, make a little room and keep a picture of Siv there and write, Baba has come. He has to come to establish heaven to change the resident of hell into the resident of heaven. If you continue to look at Sri Baba again and again, you will remember him. Some people put a photos, photos means in a pocket, in a locket, sorry, around their necks. They even put a photo of their husband around their necks. A similar thing is also being prepared for you children. So Baba says in, uh, in low cake, whatever you are uh, keeping in your neck, that is for remembrance only. It's a tool. That uh, Likewise, Baba is also asking us to have a photo in our house. To remember the father from beyond is something unique. Now why? Because father is beyond something. Uh, he is unique. He is without picture. So to remember him, is somewhat difficult. That is why Baba says you can have huh, one picture in your locket or in your pocket or uh, the place where, where you can go easily off and on. And you can, you can see the picture and you can remember him continuously. Just as people on the path of devotion make a little room or a shrine in their homes for worshipping, in the same way on the path of knowledge, Make a small room and just keep a picture of Sri Baba there. Uh, him, I think that is why in devotion also we have copied. We are making Mansuri and putting picture of uh, Sri Baba and gods and goddesses. Baba says human beings believe that the murli of the Brahma Kumaris frees you from vice. Wise. Baba says, oh, but this is very good. Wise definitely has to be renounced in order to become pure. Baba says it's a good thing that the Murli of Brahma Kumari uh, makes us free from all the vices. It is a very nice thing. Because without uh, renouncing vices, we will not be become pure. The soul will not be become pure. Baba says they become upset and ask, why do you renounce devotion? Uh, so tell them, Acha, we do devotion but only of one and none others. So Baba says when people is asking you why you are renouncing devotion, we should reply that we are doing devotion, but devotion of only one. Break your intellects, yoga away from the company of others. Your war is with Maya. You remember the father and Maya tries to break the connection. We receive our inheritance from Sri Baba. And why Baba says in devotion Maya will not interrupt, but in this knowledge path of knowledge Maya will interrupt because in devotion we are not knowing God, but now we know God and we know whatever benefits we are receiving from God 
So we will be away from Maya. That's why Baba says Maya tries to break the connection. We receive our, our inheritance from Sri Baba. Continue to have remembrance in this way. If you continue to look at Sri Baba, your little room will become paradise. So this is a blessing of God. Baba says if you will keep the picture of Sri Baba in a room, your room will become paradise. And now just Baba is giving example, Meera too had vision of paradise when she did devotion. It was Sri Baba who granted her devotion. So Baba says in devotion also I was granting uh, the, the vision. So now you are my children. So definitely Baba will make the room as a paradise. It has now entered your intellects that we are becoming the masters of the world through Sri Baba. People on the path of devotion don't know what Sri Baba does or why they sacrifice themselves to him. That people doesn't know why so are uh, Brahma Kumaris, why so are they are after uh, Sri Baba. You understand that Sri Baba is the highest of all and that he is called the Supreme Soul. Surely something new would be received from God. He is called Heavenly Godfather. Sri Krishna exists in heaven. So Supreme Father, God is heavenly Godfather. Baba says those Krishna exists in heaven, he cannot be called a father. Why? Because he is a child. The incorporeal father is the one who establishes heaven. He is not a bodily being. In fact, nowadays they call everyone father. Just now Baba is giving example of this word that they call everybody as a father. They even called Gandhiji as Bapuji. Bapuji means father. Baba says how those of other religions would not call him that. Other religions, they will not call Gandhiji as Bapu. Because Bapu means father, father of all souls of all religions. So one person cannot be. Only God can be father of all souls of all religions. They don't understand the meaning of that. You understand that the Bapuji of everyone is Si Baba. Si is not Dada. This is very important line. Baba says Si is not Dada. He is Baba and he resides in the incorporeal world. Why Baba told this? Because Si Baba is father of all souls. He is not Dada. Dada means grandfather. Si Baba is not grandfather of all. Why? Because uh, everybody is not getting the inheritance from him. When he is coming through the corporeal medium of Brahma, when he adopts we Brahmins, we are uh, we Brahmins are getting inheritance of our grandfather as uh, Siv Baba. But he is not grandfather, means Dada of everybody. That that Sikra Siv Baba told today. Baba says people remember Sri Krishna, but he is a resident of paradise. All bodily beings, rishis and munis, etc. have been here. God is incorporeal. He doesn't have a body. Because of the notion of omnipresence, no one's intellect works. Baba says, nobody's intellect works. The father comes and opens and opens the locks of your intellects. This is a new aspect here. In other spiritual gatherings, they do not think that Siv Baba is giving them knowledge. Only bodily beings sit there, where? In the world, in the gathering. You have the faith that you are listening to the incorporeal father. Huh? That faith we are having, that is why we are studying. Baba says, surely, sorry. Baba says, surely it is only when the incorporeal one comes into this corporeal one and that he can introduce himself. So Baba comes through the corporeal body of Brahma that we know and he introduced himself. Uh, himself. We don't know. No scriptures have his real introduction. The father comes every cycle. He comes and makes you into the masters of the world. However, Baba says, Maya still harasses you a great deal. She creates obstacles. 
devils create obstacles in the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra obstacles come when you become body conscious when obstacle comes always is when you become body conscious if you are soul conscious maya don't dare even to see towards you baba says consider yourself to be bodiless we belongs to baba baba has come to take us back home you have to shed your bodies and return home talk to yourselves in this way so how to make a ruh rihan how to talk to god baba is just uh, giving all all this uh, understanding baba says renounce remembering subtle and physical bodily beings let there be this form faith we souls have come from the supreme abode we are resident of the of that place no? that supreme abode we ruled a kingdom in the golden age for so many births we have taken 84 births and the play is now coming to the to an end we have to return home if there is any disturbance in your home keep a picture of shiv baba in a little room brahmin priest tell women that they shouldn't worship shiv so what is going on in the in devotion baba tells now brahmin priest they don't allow women to touch this shiv lingam however baba says shiv baba comes especially for the mothers many your many pour water over the shivlingam the priest become very happy because it is the mothers who, who who give the most monies it is the innocent mothers who have true feelings of devotion whereas men are very unstable they repeatedly go away their intellects yoga wanders a lot however a wife has a lot of attachment to her husband you children understand that this is a land of sorrow baba who creates the land of happiness has now come you have to invent methods for remembering the father so this is the main central idea of today's murli that uh, that most uh, uh, number one method baba is telling today to keep a picture of baba in a small room he cannot be seen with these baba sees with these eyes because he uh, this eyes is made of fire element of nature and baba is not made of fire element of nature so with this physical eye we cannot see god uh, baba says that is why a divine sight baba is giving in this confused age it is the soul that says see baba is our father you will experience great happiness on seeing a picture of shiv baba the yoga of you children has to be unadulterated keep a picture of shiv and remember him again and again baba has also given you his own example of how much love he had for the picture of lakshmi and narayana So how do why picture to be kept with us? But Brahma Baba is telling his experience. What he was de- doing in devotion, he was keeping picture of Lakshmi and Narayan with him. Then Baba says, Brahma Baba says, then one day I thought these are the words of words of Brahma Baba. One day I thought, why is Lakshmi massaging his uh, massaging his feet like a maid? Uh, Baba says that is not right. so an artist was called to liberate lakshmi from that why baba did so baba understood that lakshmi is a queen of golden age and as a maid why should she massage narayan's feet so he just asked the artist to liberate from the picture a lakshmi's picture however the picture of narayan was kept in his pocket one was kept in a pocket and another in the cash box now brahma baba was businessman so another picture he was keeping in his cash box so that often on he can see the picture baba would look at the picture again again and become intoxicated however he would do that secretly brahma baba says he was doing that secretly why so that no one was able to see him otherwise they would say what is this person doing 
first he had love for Sri Krishna and then he left him and had love for Vishnu. So just as there is intense devotion, so your remembrance should be just as intense. So Baba says in devotion also, Brahma Baba says, he was remembering earlier Sri Krishna, then Vishnu. The, the devotion should be intense only of one. So likewise, here also we have to remember Sri Baba only. There is great attainment through this, whereas they attain nothing by doing that. By doing everybody, Baba says, they will not attain anything. They only attain a little happiness for a temporary period. And they then have to make efforts again in their next birth. In devotion, Baba says, to whom we are remembering, we are getting fruits of uh, the remembrance or of devotion for one birth only. Next birth, again, we have to do it again. And here, 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 see, Baba what says, Baba says, devotion and business both require efforts. First earn only, then can you spend. Baba inspires you to make so much effort in this one birth that you can experience its reward for 21 births. So here Baba says, whatever efforts we are making, uh, we are getting the fruits, rewards for, of, for 21 births. Means for 21 births, we, we need not have so much uh, worries uh, to uh, make efforts. Baba says there will be no need to make efforts there. You will remain constantly happy for 21 births. Therefore, should you not remember such a father who teaches you too much? Baba says such efforts. He says, stay in remembrance with every breath. Gurus tell their followers, uh, rotate the rosary and continue to chant Ram Ram. That is all. By chanting Ram Ram's name, they have, Baba says, goose pimples. By chanting Ram Ram, they start swaying in intoxication. It is as though they have reached uh, the land of Ram. Baba, Baba says to you, let there be the soundless chant of remembrance of one Siv Baba and let nothing else be remembered. So actually by mouth also, we should not chant. Baba says internally we have to remember Baba by intellect. However, Maya also opposes you. And Baba says there is fighting here only in remembrance. Maya doesn't oppose you on the path of devotion. This is the war between Maya and you children of God. Now, this is a very, very, very important line. Baba says there is war of Maya between you children of God. Because now we are children of God, we know God. Yeah, we have become of God. Maya will definitely interfere to make us away from God. And that, that means that is the uh, war between our goodness and badness. Because we know the um, philosophy of karma. That's why Maya will definitely interfere. Baba says plays are also created in which they portray the God says and what Maya says. They portrait what God says and what Maya says. It is now the confluence age. Impure and vicious thoughts of Maya will continue to come. Some storms come with such great force that they blow human beings over and throw them far away. Baba is just giving example of the storm. Likewise, Baba says these storms of Maya, Ravan, Baba continues to tell you methods to save yourself from them. You say the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is teaching us Raj Yoga. If anyone asks you who inspired you to have renunciation and who your Guru is, Baba says tell him. It is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. There is no one else for whom God can come and inspire to have renunciation. Uh, in the world, Baba says elsewhere, it is human beings who inspire other human beings. Here the father comes and tells you, renounce all the relations of bodies, including your own bodies. Renounce this old world and remember the new world. 
Sannyasis cannot say this. The old world is now to be destroyed in a practical way. This is also a very, very important line. Therefore, remove everyone from your intellects and link your intellects to the one father. You are now engaged. If you remember a bodily being, your engagement is weakened. So Baba how says, Baba says your engagement is with me. If you will remember a bodily being, then your engagement with me is weakened. Renounce all other relations such as I am so and so or I am this or that. Renounce all of that and consider yourself to be souls. You have now come to know about your 84 births. You should, you should upload because you are now to return home in great happiness. You said a body and take another. Consider yourselves to be souls. Previously, I, a soul, was beautiful and I then took 84 births. I will now return home and then come back to rule in the kingdom of heaven. Likewise, we have to remember every day. We have to, I mean, uh, spin the discuss of self-realization like this. Baba said, it is so easy to spin this discuss of self-realization. Keep a picture of Sri Baba in your pocket. Talk to him in, in, in this way. Baba, you have come. You are so sweet. You are our Baba. Baba, you used to talk to Sri Krishna in this way, on the path of devotion. Likewise, Baba says, you talk to me now. First class, lockets, etc. of Sri Baba will be made of gold and silver. Baba is talking of the, those days. Poor ones will be given lockets of gold and windy ones of silver. These methods are very sweet. Villagers have very good feelings of devotion. Baba also comes pleased on seeing his ordinary children. Sri Krishna was known as a village arch archin. In fact, Sri Krishna cannot become a village archin. He is the master of heaven. They have, Baba says, mixed up things about this one with those of Sri Krishna. This one is Brahma Baba and those of, of Sri Krishna, they have mixed up. It is this one who has fully experienced village life. Uh, Brahma Baba has experienced fully village life, not Sri Krishna. Therefore, neither Sri Baba nor Sri Krishna can be a village urchin. Baba says, yes, this Dada was an urchin in, in his childhood. He grew up in a village. The father has come once again and entered this, entered this ordinary body. Baba has explained the main aspect of how everything depends on having remembrance. So everything, Baba says, is dependent on Baba's remembrance, how we are remembering being in soul conscious state. Baba says, you should never forget to have remembrance. A low-kick, monophysical child would never say that he forgets his father. Likewise, Baba says, I am father of soul. Baba says, does a bride ever forget her bridegroom? Baba is giving second example. It is impossible. This is the effort, uh, this is the effort you children have to make. Uh, likewise, a bride and a Lokic child. It is only by practicing having remembrance constantly that your sins will be absorbed. Baba says this is the only way to absorb the whatever sins we have committed during last uh, past 63 births. Otherwise, you will have to experience punishment and you will not become part of the rosary of victory. So if we want to be a part of the rosary, we have to remember Baba continuously. Then only our soul can be pure. Baba says it is a wonder of the Father that he comes and uplifts the old, the poor and uneducated and downtrodden ones, the, the hunchbacks, etc. and makes them all belong to him. In fact, there is no need for a picture. But Maya makes you forget, and this is why a picture is kept. 
So Baba says, because my will try to interfere and make you away from Baba, that's why a picture is required. It should remain in your intellect that you are going to Baba. We have seen the path to liberation and liberation in life. There are no other guides who can take us there. That is also known as Indrapas, part of Indra. What? Madhuban is, a, is Indrapas. It's a part of Indra because uh, Indra himself comes there. So Baba is talking about uh, the Baba Milan. In Baba Milan, Baba says that that, that place Madhuban is Indrapas. If anyone impure comes and sits there secretly, he will become one with a stone intellect. Baba is the one who knows all the secrets. This Baba means Brahma Baba knows all the external things. And that Baba means Si Baba is able to know straight away whether anyone sitting here is secretly impure. Therefore, both the one who brings an impure person and the impure person who comes and sit here will experience punishment. That's why the teacher uh, who is uh, taking us to Madhuban, uh, she will just fill up a form and all conditions are there we have to fulfill. Baba says, therefore, you must never bring impure ones here. The laws are very strict. Dirty and impure ones should not be allowed to sit here. Otherwise, you will have to experience very severe punishment. No cheating or stealing can carry on here. Both accounts of sin and charity remain with Dharmaraj. So, Baba has spoken today. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And we spiritual children in Peter Lao say Namaste and good morning to the mother, the father, Bap Dada. Mithe Mithe Sikhi Lade Bachu Prati Mat Pita Bap Dada Ka Yad Pyar or Good Morning. Ruhani Bap Ki Ruhani Bachu Ko Namaste or Ham Ruhani Bachu Ki Ruhani Mat Pita Bap Dada Ko Yad Pyar Good Morning or Namaste. Thanks Baba for this very good teaching. Now, essence for dharana, point number one, stop remembering everyone. Disconnect your intellects yoga from everyone and stay in remembrance of the one father. Make a little room for Si Baba and sit in unadulterated remembrance of him. If we have not uh, made a room or put Baba's picture, then we can start from today only. Second point, tell yourself these sweet things. Previously, we were so beautiful. We have now completed 84 births and are going to return home happily. Talk to yourself in this way and spin the discourse of self-realization. Now, blessings for today. May you become flawless by contemplating on yourself and looking at yourself and experience a life as invaluable as a diamond. The explanation is there. In order to experience a life as invaluable as a diamond, always contemplate on yourself and become a spinner of the discourse of self realization There are only two things that make you diamond full of flows. What are those things? Looking at others. Second thing, thinking about others. Pardarsan, uh, parchintan. With the color of their company, these two things make a pure diamond become full of flows, uh, become, becomes impure. Therefore, finish this main seed and think about yourself. What is the main say, uh, uh, seed? Baba says, looking at others and thinking about others. Therefore, finish this main seed and think about yourself and spin the discourse of self-realization. So, we should not think about others. We should uh, think about ourselves only and spin the discourse of self-realization. 
that is our role in the drama for 84 births. Baba says, so that you cannot be touched by dust or flows. You will then become a true flawless, sparkling and invaluable diamond. Then slogan for today, those who remember the image means chitra and character means charitra of the father without an image. Means Baba is bodiless, no? there is no, there, he, he is not having any image, means chitra, he is vichitra, are full of characters. No? Those will be full of characters, means we, Baba's all characters, no? that flow will be in our soul. So we will be, Baba says, charitravan. Om Shanti, thank you Baba. Now we will remember Baba for a minute and finish mutually.